I'm standing right now on, out of the rain underneath this avocado tree while I pick some of the ripe coffee off of these two coffee trees that are growing in the shade of the avocado tree. I'm picking the red ones here and the, the ripe and the slightly overripe ones like this here. And they're not going to go to the mill. I am putting them into this little tub and I'm going to use them for seeds and we'll try sprouting some coffee and try growing some new coffee trees from these seeds. Uh, most of the trees in the orchard here have already been picked but there's a few of them like this one that have been growing in the shade that still have ripe coffee on them as you can see although some of it has gotten overripe and turned black. But some of these ones that are still soft and red like this, or even kind of a cherry color, we can use these and we will try sprouting them and seeing if we can make some new coffee trees from them. This is a, a really good bearing coffee tree right here, which is why I'm, is one reason why I picked it, because I want to get a lot of good coffee genetics, I guess you could say. So anyway, I'm going to pick a few more off of this tree and then I'll pick out a few other trees and then we'll plant them in some pots in a few minutes. Here's my setup. I have two trays like this, this one and the one over there, and then I've got a bunch of these yogurt containers that I filled with a potting soil. And I took the time to separate the coffee cherries into this bunch, which are overripe cherries and, and turning brown, and the other bunch, which are ripe coffee cherries. The, uh, cherries like this are perfect for going to the mill. However, these ones are going to get planted. And what I'm going to do, I think I'll put one group in here, probably the overripe cherries, and then I'll put the ripe cherries, I'll plant them into that uh, tray over there, just to see if the, there's any difference uh, in how many sprout or how fast they sprout. And then what I have left, the seeds I have left over from both, both of these, I'll go ahead and just plant into these yogurt containers. And then um, I'm going to put them all outside in the rain under that cage because unfortunately around here, if you don't protect your plants, uh, the animals are going to get them really quick. So I'll have to plant them, but it does rain here every day, so I think they ought to get enough water just from the rainfall. Here you can see we've got some additional pest control right here. But anyway, the next step is going to be uh, we're going to husk these cherries. We'll take the outsides off, and we're going to do it by hand.
All right, so here's the final setup. I've got about uh, enough for a hundred coffee trees, baby coffee trees. Uh, I've got two trays and then I've got these larger containers. I put two seeds in each of the larger containers, actually three in the biggest container there. And I can thin those out later on. And then each of the coffee trays has one coffee seed in it. And of course I've had to put it behind a cage because of all the animals that are around here. Chickens and mongooses and whatnot. And um, I just finished and it's already raining. So I expect there'll be enough rain naturally falling around here that I won't have to water them. But I'll need to keep an eye on them just in case. And I'll post some progress on YouTube on my channel from time to time. It may be a few months though before they actually sprout.